Power and money have always been interesting topics to study, and this is especially true when it comes to the U.S. presidency. Throughout American history, there have been presidents who came into office already well off and others who made enormous fortunes while in office. In this video we will take a closer look at the 10 richest U.S. presidents of all time, examining their net worth, the sources of their wealth, and how they used their financial resources to shape their presidencies. All values have been adjusted for inflation. Welcome back to our YouTube channel and thank you for joining us. If you are new to this channel, do well to like and share the video and hit that subscribe button to join our channel. Number 10, Bill Clinton. It is estimated that Bill Clinton the 42nd President of the United States earned the majority of his $75.9 million net worth after leaving office. The author's income was derived from multiple sources, including his multi-million dollar book My Life, published in 2005, as well as paid talks and consultancy assignments. Through her earnings, his wife, the former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, also contributed to their combined net worth. Her memoir, Hard Choices, from 2014 reportedly brought in an advance of $14 million. The Clintons have a reputation for making good money from paid speeches, estimates put their total speaking earnings since leaving the White House at over $150 million. Number 9, Herbert Hoover. The 31st President of the United States, Herbert Hoover, held a peak net worth of $83 million during his tenure from 1929 to 1933. Despite growing up orphaned, he overcame this by working hard and persevering to become a self-made man. After earning his degree from Stanford, Hoover worked as a mining engineer before entering politics. In addition to writing a textbook on mining engineering, he was the proud owner of multiple silver mines in Burma, which greatly added to his wealth. Number 8, Lyndon B. Johnson. The 36th president, Lyndon Johnson, accumulated a fortune of $109.3 million during his tenure from 1963 to 1969. Before Johnson met and married affluent Texas family member Claudia, Lady Bird, Taylor, he was a hardworking, determined man with little money. Although the couple owned cattle and a substantial quantity of land, 607 hectares or 1,500 acres, in Texas together, Lady Bird's radio station served as their main source of income. Number 7, James Madison. The fourth president of the United States, James Madison, 1809-1817, peaked at a net worth of $113.3 million. Madison's parents were wealthy landowners, including the thriving Montpelier estate in Orange County, Virginia, which they possessed a sizable amount of. Madison had financial troubles later in life, despite his family's affluence. The plantation did not yield the projected profits, and the drinking and gambling issues of his stepson caused him to suffer substantial losses. These elements had a part in Madison's financial difficulties in his final years. Number 6, Andrew Jackson. The seventh president of the United States, Andrew Jackson, served from 1829 to 1837, and his greatest net worth was $132.6 million. Jackson did not originate from a wealthy family and had to support himself as a lawyer, unlike many of his predecessors. Nevertheless, Jackson's financial circumstances considerably improved with his marriage to Rachel, who brought a substantial amount of income into the union, despite his modest beginnings. After Rachel passed away soon before Jackson took office, he received a sizable wealth from her. Number 5, Theodore Roosevelt. The 26th President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt, had a peak net worth of $139.7 million, serving from 1901 to 1909. Despite inheriting a sizable trust money, he didn't aggressively seek out ways to amass fortune. Rather, he committed the majority of his adult life to serving the public, starting when he was elected to the New York State Assembly at the tender age of 23. Roosevelt experienced a financial setback despite his dedication to public service when a ranch investment in the Dakotas caused him to lose a sizable portion of his wealth. Number 4, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, the third American president from 1801 to 1809, had a peak net worth of $236.8 million. To increase his real estate holdings, he later purchased an additional 809 hectares, 2,000 acres, of land to supplement the 1,200 hectares, 3,000 acres, of land that he inherited from his father near Charlottesville, Virginia. On this property, Thomas Jefferson erected Monticello, his renowned home. Jefferson was deeply in debt at the time of his death, despite being affluent for the majority of his life. 
This resulted in part from Jefferson's erratic farming revenue as well as his extravagant spending and living beyond his means. Number 3, George Washington. He was the first president of the United States and he had a net worth of $587 million estimated in today's dollars. George Washington, who led the country from 1789 to 1797, peaked at a net worth of $587 million. The majority of his money was inherited because his half-brother gave him his lucrative plantation, Mount Vernon. Furthermore, Washington's pay as a general and then as president was enormous. In 1789, he received a salary of $25,000 as president, which accounted for 2% of the U.S. national budget. Number 2, John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy's net worth peaked at $1.1 billion while he served as the 35th U.S. president from 1961 to 1963. Kennedy was born into a wealthy family, thus, all of his wealth was inherited. Joe Kennedy, his father, was among the wealthiest persons in the United States after he accumulated a fortune in banking and investing. In addition, Jackie Kennedy, the wife of President Kennedy, was wealthy as an oil heiress. Number 1, Donald J. Trump. At his highest point, Donald Trump's net worth was $3.1 billion. In 2017, he became the 45th President of the United States. According to the New York Times, he received at least $413 million from his father and was born into a wealthy family. After taking over his father's real estate company, Trump's wealth grew even more, and he currently owns billions of dollars worth of real estate. Nonetheless, Trump's financial affairs, particularly conflicts of interest about his companies and his reluctance to make his tax returns public, generated controversy and close examination during his presidency. This ends our journey through the top 10 richest presidents of the United States, thank you for watching to the end. Please do well to leave a review and comment on what you think about this video. Until next time, stay safe.